I know I've sort of touched on some of the mix console elements throughout this course, but let's take a closer look in this video. You can use the shortcut F3 to open and close the mix console. Now let's see what further stuff we can do here. On the left, on this view over here, you can choose what items to show. I can choose to show my inputs. This is the level over here of my mic coming in. There's an output section as well. So if I click this and expand this out, and if I had multiple output setups, I'd see them here. The trash section will just show any items that I've removed through the course of the song. External devices shows the devices I've set up, like my MIDI controller, and then instrument shows the instruments that I've got used in my song. Now this button over here changes the width of these channels. They can either be narrow or wide. So if I click it, it narrows the channels and just allows me to view more channels along this mix console. This works pretty well if you've got quite a bit of tracks in your song. Just narrow them and you can view more. Now I did show you how to add some inserts on your channels. You click this button to expand it and then it'll show any effects that are inserted on the channel. I like to use this when I'm tracking. I'll just jump to a track, expand it and add the effect. But when it comes to mixing, I like to use this button over here, the small large button. When I click it, it expands the mix console up to show you the inserts and sends. So I can jump back to the arrangement, make some changes, and then when I jump back to the mix console, I've got this bigger view to work with. Now also if I click this button over here, it detaches the mix console. So when I click this, it jumps across to my second screen. And now you see if I drag this across, it's its own floating window and I can just change the size of it, or even make it full screen so it takes up the whole screen resolution. And then I can just attach it again to see it on my main screen. Now let's break down what's housed on each channel. These are the inputs that you can set. Then this is the output. So this track is going to the drums bus channel output. Then there's the pan part, where I can send it to the left or the right. And if I want to reset a value, I just hit command on the Mac or control on the PC and it jumps it back. There's also a view meter on the track showing you the loudness of it. So if I solo this track and play it back, you can see the level of my kick track here. Then there's a mute button, a solo button like I've already showed you, and then the monitor and record arm buttons. Then up above here, I've got the inserts where I can insert plugins onto the track. And then underneath this is the send section where I can send the signal to either a bus channel or an effects channel. So for example, if I want to create a reverb send, I'd use an effects channel for this. And then from a distance, you can get a good idea of what type of track each one is by the icon that's used. So for example, this icon is for an instrument track, this is a bus channel, and then this is an audio track. And then finally, all your audio passes through this master or main output. And on this main output, you've also got an insert section, but you'll also notice that there's a post section. So the difference is that this is post fader effects and the insert is pre fader effects. So with pre fader, when I insert any effects of here, it'll be happening before the volume level of this fader. Now post fader will happen after it. So this just depends on how you want to insert your effects on your master chain, if you want them either pre or post. You can enable the click over here. Now this button is pretty handy. If I click this, it shows the volume of the click, so I can change the volume of the click level. And this is the mono to stereo button, so I can click on this to check what my mix sounds like in mono. So when I play back my track, it's in stereo now, but when I want to see how it translates to mono, I can test the sides and then back again to stereo. What you'll also notice on this master channel is this mix effects section here. And basically this is a new technology in Studio One where when you add an effect to this, it passes the audio through a new mix engine. So it sort of emulates the way how an analog console would work with summing channels and gelling the sounds together. And this sits on the main output and on any bus channels. So you can use these channels to impart a sort of analog style flavor to them.